Okay, there's a lot of things changed or missing from Windows 11. In Windows 10, you're used to be able to resize the menu however you want uh, and put it up and down until it's where you like to have it. Now, in Windows 11, it's quite different. As you can see, you cannot size. You can't grab the top of the sides or anything to resize the menu to have more area taken. Now, there is an area down here called Recommended we'll talk about later. But the main menu is right here. You can have more. You can scroll down and see more icons here. And you can move them around. But that's about it. Another ability that's uh, there in Windows 10 to be able to make groups of icons together, or tiles back then, and move those groups around, no longer exists. You also, by the way, uh, used to be able to uh, move these between those groups or make small mini groups together. But in Windows 11, uh, that's it. You have these groups of icons. You can move them uh, in front of each other, that kind of thing. You can't create groups. Uh, you can't group them, really, unless you drag them into areas related to uh, another icon, maybe mail and your to-do list or daily items. Uh, other things, games, would be another area. But they're not necessarily in a group unless you use some creativity to drag them in the right place. Here I put the uh, notepad next to the calendar and the, and the calculator. And lastly, one of the things in Windows 10 you can do is you can resize your icons. You can just take this icon, for example, right-click, say small, medium, large, you know, uh, all the way up to this uh, giant uh, wide icon, uh, or even, even bigger, uh, the double wide one. Uh, and that would uh, configure your page however you'd like. But if you go to Windows 11 and you right-click on a tile or an icon, there is no resize available. It's just the usual install, move, those kind of things. Uh, but that's about it. Now, the one thing that is similar, if you go to Windows 10 and you click on the little icon here for all apps, you get your usual a la Windows 7 kind of looking list of all your different things installed. And you can right-click on them, expand folders, do whatever you want and install them to the taskbar for that matter. In Windows 11 are slightly easier to get to, which is to click over here on all apps here. Uh, and then it shows up exactly the same. Uh, and you have most of the same options here to scroll down, check your menu here and click on a letter to collapse it and then go find uh, whatever you're looking for in that area. So it's uh, basically the same. In Windows 10, if you have multiple users, you can just click on the uh, user menu down here, and then you can see uh, what the functions available. You can log out, you know, log in as somebody else, and do a couple other things here. And as you can see in Windows 11, if you click there uh, on the name down here, uh, you'll see that, sure enough, same kind of thing uh, happens, same uh, capabilities. And the next one then is power, which is also on this menu down here. You can normally click on the uh, power and see certain options here in Windows 10, reboot, start, whatever, shut down. And Windows 11 uh, basically does the same thing also, except it's over on the other side, over here. And you click on that, and then you can choose what to do there. Now, not everybody remembered that uh, in Windows 10, you could uh, right-click over here. Uh, and you can come up with a system utilities menu that has uh, different functions that you can do, uh, sort of a hidden task kind of thing. And the same feature exists in Windows uh, 11. Click down, right click here, and you'll see mostly exactly the same list here in Windows 11. And all these system utilities you can run directly from there. Now, tiles have been replaced by pin apps, and they're already there, already pre-installed, including some of the things that should have been there uh, when you had your Windows. You also have recommended, which will vary as things get installed or you use stuff. Uh, but each one of these can just be clicked on to run that particular app. Now, you might see some ones here that you may want to be cautious about if they're ones that you don't recognize that were installed for you during the upgrade. All these traditional ones should be fine and everything. Uh, but you might find things like this here. Uh, you be careful because if you click on it, it'll install. I have a video, a separate video about that.
Now, as far as moving apps, it's just like it is in Windows 10. You click on the icon in this case, and you hold down your mouse button, and you just drag it to wherever you want. Like I showed just a little bit earlier, you just want to arrange these maybe in their functionality next to each other, maybe your social media stuff together or your purchasing stuff together or put settings down here at the corner. Uh, but you have to be careful because they all shift around as you do this. So you'll see as you drag and put somewhere or somewhere else, the other ones will move over. And now you have to worry about where they went to down on the next line. You'll probably also notice that as you install stuff, you'll see that uh, this list expands and they'll be installed maybe down here at the bottom. And you can uh, move them to the top this way very quickly since it's a new app you installed. You probably want it near the top. Or you can drag it to that arrow, scroll up here, and you'll be at the top. Now, as far as the app you don't want there anymore, you simply go here. You find your one you want. You right-click, and you'll see here that there's an unpin from start. Doesn't uninstall it, just removes it from the start screen. The other way, of course, is to go out to your uh, All Apps menu. You go up here to All Apps, and you find it there. Uh, you find a particular one you want to remove. Let's say you have a uh, hundred of them there. Uh, you find any one you want, you right click on it, and you have the unpin from start right there. The Windows 11 start menu is basically the ill fated Windows 10X menu. Uh, adapted for Windows uh, 11. Although people complained about the start menu tiles in Windows 8 and later Windows 10, I'm guessing the limited functionality of this menu system will be met with strong objections and that it does not meet people's needs. Now, I'll be the first to admit I overused the Windows 10 start menu and created some complex and maybe unneeded groupings, but the new menu doesn't meet some of my basic needs. Coupled with the missing functionalities in the new taskbar, this system can be difficult to get used to. I'm guessing Microsoft will restore some of these functions in the next few months. Only time will tell. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video. If you want some more, please subscribe to The Old Guy Geek and click on the bell to get notifications. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. The links are in the description of the video.